Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about lock states and I'm going to be showing you why it's a great tool to use when doing live performances. First, once you press this lock button, every element that you have going on at the moment is going to be locked into a pad. And this just means that no matter what you do in your project, the lock parameters will remain the same. It's a cool way to edit on the fly and make transitions. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this section. The first thing I do is press the lock button to lock in what I already have going on. This way I can always go back to the unedited version. So now let's hold down shift and press lock. This is the snapshot we just created. And we go back by pressing the pad mode. Now let's make an edit. I'm going to mute the drums. Simply hold down shift and lock and then press and open pad. Now this is our new snapshot. Alright, let's create a new snapshot. I'm going to unmute the drums and mute the bass this time. So far we've used the mute button, but you can also edit effects. Let's add an effect to the drums using the perform effects. I like how this sounds, so let's take a snapshot. And it's literally that simple. I hope you can already see how beneficial this is when it comes to performing live. You can tweak effects, mess around with the arrangement, and more. The options are limitless. We also have a morphing tool, which allows you to morph between these snapshots, creating a smooth transition. So let's turn it on. You have two modes, travel and target. And then you also have time. So two bars is how long the morph will last. So let's take a listen and see how it sounds. That's super dope. Okay, let's see how it sounds with a longer duration. That's small. Here you can hear the bass morphing out. And here you can kind of hear the effect playing in the background. <laughs> now let's switch it over to target, which has the time frame set to grid. So we have one bar, half, one fourth, and so on. Let's see what it sounds like. I'm loving how these transitions make a scratching sound sometimes. Okay, and we also have the options to delete snapshots as well as edit and update a snapshot.
Also, when creating snapshots, I found that deselecting the lock button causes issues for me. So I just navigate by leaving the lock button active and pressing the pad mode to get back home. All right, let's make one more edit. So yeah, this is a cool way to edit on the fly as well as make some cool transitions for like outros or intros using the morphing tool. It sort of reminds me of scenes, the way you can move from one scene to the next, but the morphing tool really sets them apart. I hope this video helps. Peace.